Hey, here we go. Today we are on page 123 and we're, we're going to be going through these pages. So make sure you write down whatever it is that I write down. Let's look at the directions. First thing says, try these problems. Decimal grids. No problem. Let's do it. Each decimal grid, which is what we call these things, in models A, B, and C represent one whole. Okay. Shade in each model to show, so we got to shade in each model to show the decimal number below the model. Okay. Okay. Nothing we can't handle. Let's do it. First one. Oh, it's a three. I thought it said it was gonna have a decimal. I mean, it does, it has a point zero. So does that mean we fill out zero? Mm -mm. Remember, each one of these represent one whole. So in this case, it's asking us to fill out three. So we're gonna fill out one whole. I'm gonna try to touch every box. That's one. Here's the second one. Beautifully shaded in. It's like a masterpiece. That's two. Yeah, we gotta fill out the third one. And I'm just scribbling just cause, look, I know some of you are gonna take your time and fill out each little square. As long as you remember that three holes are three of these whole things filled out, and I gotta make sure I touch every single square cause every one of them's gotta be accounted for to make a three. Beautiful. What a beautiful piece of artwork. Awesome. Three. So now we have one, two, three. Check mark. We're good to go. Let's check out B. B is asking us to fill out. There's that three again, but this time it's three tenths. Sure. Fair. Remember, each of the columns represent 10. And in this case, it's asking us to fill out three of those tenths. So if that's one whole, here's one tenth, two tenths, and three tenths. Awesome. We just filled out three tenths. Now to the next one. We're good to go. This time it's asking us to fill out three hundredths. Remember, there's a hundred units and it's asking us to fill out no whole units. It's asking us to fill out zero tens and it's asking us to fill out three of the hundredths, which is just three little units. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. Boom, done. So hopefully you can see the difference. This, this, this major difference between hundredths, tens, and ones. But now let's slide down below here where it says question number two. Complete the different equations to show the relationships between A, let me get this. All right. Pardon me. La, da, 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 da. Okay. So now it says complete the, the four different equations to show the relationship between the numbers shown in models A, models B, and model C. So let's start with model C, which was 0 0.03. If we take 0 0.03, and we multiply it by 10, we're gonna end up with 0 0.3. I'm gonna show you a little trick. Check this out. When you're multiplying by 10, all you do is count your zeros. There's one zero. You move the decimal one spot to the right. See what it ends up with? So now let's look at this. Let's look at B, which was 0 
0.3. We're multiplying, which means we're moving our decimal to the right. How many spots? One. Bloop. 3.0. But most of you know you don't even need that 3.0. You could just say plain old 3. Same thing. Same thing. Ah, division. Let's start with 3. Now, we know it's 3.0. Even though I erased it up there. 3.0. When you divide by 10, your number's getting smaller. So move your decimal to the left. And how many times? Count your zeros. Because there's one zero in 10, we're gonna move it once to the left. And now we have 0 0.30. And I just like to put a zero in the ones place. Boom. Yeah, you don't actually need that zero at the end. It could just be 0.3, that's fine. So let's move to 0.3. We have zero. 0.3, and this time we're dividing by 10. We're moving, we're dividing, so we're moving to the left. And how many spots? Because it's only 10, there's only one zero, we're gonna move it one spot. Bloop. So it would be 0 0.03. Make sure you have that written down, and let's slide down to the next one which is finding one-tenth of a number. We're going to mix in a little fraction action, a little fraction action. So, finding one-tenth of a number is same as multiplying the number by 0 0.1. Complete each sentence then write the sentence as a multiplication equation. Okay, no problem, we could do that. So, if we have 0 0.03 is 1 tenth, we're multiplying, so we're moving the decimal that way by 10, 0 0.3. Cool, remember, multiplying. So my equation is going to be written simple as 0 0.03. And see that word is? In math, that's going to be an equal sign. Is, it's kind of a sideways equal sign, is 1 tenth. See that word of? That's going to mean times in math class. You use that a lot in sixth grade. Three hundredths is one tenth times 0 0.3. Sweet. Sweet. Now, letter B. Letter B is something equals one tenth of three. Boom. 0 0.3. Three. Now, when I write the equation, it'll make a little bit more sense, I hope. This time we have 0 0.3 is, remember, is equals 1 tenth of 3.0. Cool. So that'll wrap up page 123. We'll see you in class tomorrow.